to write the code in Salesforce. If you are on Salesforce, what you can do? Uh, I'm already logged into my Salesforce account. Uh, you can go to this setup button, click on this, and then you click on Developer Console. Okay, so this is an uh, I would say editor provided by Salesforce. Okay, you can basically this is the code editor. You can go and write your code here. You can also write your you know Salesforce code in some other editors. Okay, like Visual Studio and all. But uh, the thing is that if you're writing a code in some other editor like a Visual Studio code or something like that, then you have to uh, you know log in into Salesforce. You'll have to you know set up the connect so that you know whatever code you write because that's an external application. So whatever code you write there, you know that needs to be pushed to Salesforce. That needs to be deployed. Okay, from from that particular uh, code editor to Salesforce. Okay. When you're writing it on developer console that is not required so you know it automatically uh, stays connected uh, to your logged in account and whatever you are writing here you know you can keep on saving it you know that directly gets saved on salesforce okay whereas if you're writing it on some you know writing it uh, on something like an eclipse or a visual studio code uh, then those codes actually get stored on your local system and you'll have to push it to salesforce okay for those who are new to uh, coding uh, don't even worry about that that's just a you know separate environment uh, for you guys i mean don't worry if you do not know what is a visual studio code or you do not know what is an eclipse because those are just you know code editors which are used by some other uh, uh, you know uh, developers of some other programming languages like java and all so yeah so you can do development of salesforce also from there but the only thing is that because that's going to be on premise you will have to push it to your uh, salesforce account Okay, so anyways, uh, we are mostly going to be using uh, developer console or you know, there are a few other ways they you know in the UI itself You can actually you know write some of the code. This is the developer console uh, You know when you uh, open so this is a separate window which opens up this is the developer console um, Okay, so now you definitely have uh, the option of creating class and then you know you can write your code in the class so class is more like a file you know uh, to, to simplify things for those who are new to coding so you can uh, you know always go and create a class and then put in your code in the class and the class can have methods and at a later point of time you can call your class and method and all that stuff however in case you do not want to you know write a class or, or and a method and all you just want to write uh, say a few lines of code and you know want to test it on the fly you can go and do it from here. So, you know, on this developer console, you go to debug, open, execute anonymous window. Now you can put a couple of lines of code here and, you know, you can try and uh, execute the code from here. So uh, this is called anonymous code block. Okay. So this anonymous code block, you can directly execute. You can write a code and you can execute from here. It does not get saved. Okay. Purpose of saving the code is that you can reuse it. Now, sometimes you just want to you know try test some code and you know check it you can do that from here okay so let's say i would say count a equals new account name equals del industry equals technology okay and this insert statement uh, is used for creating record so you know if i execute this ideally it should go and create this as a new record okay and i can execute it from here okay so this should have got executed let's see if there is a new account record got created here or not so let me go to salesforce let me quickly go to accounts yeah you see this record got created See, 
name is Dell industry technology. Yes, that's what we did. Okay. So uh, this anonymous code block is the place for you to, you know, uh, try some you know simple code and you know just because every time you may not be uh, you know uh, writing a code to store it in a class and method how to store it in a class and method and all those things also i'm going to come to but this is uh, you know something which i wanted you to see that you can just write a couple of lines of code and you can execute it from here also okay okay let me show it again developer console and in the developer console you go to debug open execute anonymous window i told you anonymous code block right so the, uh, this window is basically called anonymous window execute anonymous window come here you write the code here you click on execute and it gets executed okay fine so that is about you know how you execute uh, you know a quick uh, apex code without storing it in classes and methods that's all we'll discuss in this video thanks for watching for more videos in this series you can look for the link in description below or visit my website goodbye and take care